close is Technolicost. Here for um, just a little tidbit information video about cleaning uh, cartridges, uh, gaming cartridges in particular. Basically, uh, you can find these at pawn shops, garage sales, uh, thrift stores. Um, it's kind of a hobby of mine collecting. Uh, I'm sure you can load up a, you know, an emulator and and uh, play everything on uh, on your system or on your computer. But to me, I, I just actually like collecting this stuff because when we were kids, we didn't have jobs, so we couldn't go out and buy any of this stuff. And now you can pick up stuff like this for a dollar, and it brings me a lot of enjoyment. So just like knives and guns, this is another one of these things that are just kind of cool. All right, well let's get right into this video. Um, this is Silent Service, a game probably everyone doesn't like, but I actually really like it. So I saw it for a buck at a pawn shop, went ahead and grabbed it. It's got uh, crayon galore on it. And I started cleaning it, and then I decided, hey, I probably should make a video about this. Um, and as you can see, I've already cleaned some of the inside. It almost looked like it had mud inside of it. Oh, look at that. So a kid did some great artwork on this. Anyhow, it wouldn't work when I put it into the system. Now, you'll find that a lot with these games. You buy them, you slap them in there, push it down the door on your Nintendo Entertainment System, turn on the power, and it's glitchy. It doesn't play. Well, the way to fix that real quickly is to clean your cartridge, put it in, and usually it'll work. If it doesn't, you can also use the uh, tried and true method, which does work almost 99.9% .9 hundreds of the time, is close the door. Now again, you don't have to smash it, blow on it, or any of that stuff. You turn on your Nintendo, the game won't play. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of push it around in here. Look at that. Kind of see how you can kind of see some normalcy. Then hit the reset button. I haven't even cleaned this thing yet. Oh, yeah, buddy. Platoon. And that sounds like the same music that uh, I used to play or listen to when it was on the Commodore 64, which is another friggin' excellent system. One I particularly grew up on. I didn't really grow up on the Nintendos. It was later in life that I finally discovered these things, and my mom never got me one of those. But it's, it's alright. I had a Sega. Anyway. So with uh, Platoon in the background, let me explain this. So what you're going to use, even though the Nintendo cartridges tell you never to use it, is rubbing alcohol. You can get this for like a buck. So it's totally cheap. You take your cartridge, whoop, and I'm going to get a Q-tip. Drench the Q-tip in here, all the way around. Get some of the excess liquid off, kind of pushing it off. Kind of like your paint. So now this thing's pretty moist. This side's dry, right? I'm just closing the cap over here. All right. So I'm gonna take a game, credit game like this, and in here you're gonna see what look like little teeth. Right, just hold the cartridge down. Scrub it with the wet side, and you'll start to see a lot of the corrosion due to oxidization. And you're also going to have a get the crud because as kids we don't store things so well. Now look at that. So the teeth are clean, and with the alcohol, it just dissipates very quickly. And I like to clean on the inside too. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's like mud in there. It's horrible. I also suggest when you buy these things at a thrift store and whatnot, uh, anywhere, they're used. They're really used. They're, some of them are 20 years old plus. Um, they've been handled with a lot of people, so they're dirty. Go ahead and wipe them down. Try not to get the sticker. Wipe them down with a little Clorox bleach on the sides maybe very lightly or just wipe it down with some alcohol now again people are pretty grody and that's the word I'm using because it's from the 80s Look at this rad racer did I overpay? eh two bucks come on it's rad racer 
It actually looks pretty good. And this also goes for Nintendo 64. This Mario looks like it's in no okay condition, but let's go ahead and do one more, just so you get it down. Alcohol. Again, you don't want to drench it, and you don't want your alcohol to go travel back into the cartridge. As you can see, there's protective plastic, but that's where the circuit board is. So what I like to do is use gravity, get in there, just, just tilt it down, and boom, get this garbage off. Now, Nintendo 64 is no super trick. If your game doesn't work immediately, when you slap it in there, it's super dirty. So, give it a nice clean. Put it in your uh, 64, and it should work. Well, I've got a lot of games to clean. This is my haul today. Show you here. I got this one. Akari Warriors. I got it for five dollars. It's in uh, like perfect condition. Well, pretty perfect. It's been in the sleeve for God knows how long. And then some typical titles. I just don't have them because I just started collecting uh, Nintendo Entertainment Systems. So, this game, a lot of fun, I loved it. This game is a horrible game, but you got to have it in your collection. Uh, this game is actually fun, um, and so is RC Pro-Am. They're just a blast. I probably played retail for them. Again, I, I, I'm more about collecting right now, so if I can get retail or below, I do it. And then also, if you go to pawn shops and stuff like that, you can ask uh, to wheel and deal. Say, hey, I'm going to purchase all these games. Go ahead and hook me up. And they usually will. All right, guys, gals, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play some of this platoon. Oh, yeah. Is that Charlie Sheen? Oh man. Later.